Hello everyone and welcome to Watching Time. Today we're going to review a watch that I have just received actually very fast from the release to the shipping to having it at hand. And this is a limited edition Timex watch for the James brand, which is, uh, I'm going to explain to you later what it is. Um, but it's a watch that I think it has a lot of interesting things that I wanted to share with you guys. Also, it's a very fun watch. So let's look at it. So first of all, what do we have here? We have an almost in the line Timex Expedition watch. Even now the name has changed because Timex is calling their Expedition watches Expedition North. So this is one of the first for 2021 uh, Expedition North watches from Timex. So Timex has a history and a history also of doing military inspired watches. We are used to them. But in this collaboration, they have done something very particular and they have turned a little bit the notch on what can be offered for that type of styling, that type of watches, etc. So, first of all, we have a military inspired watch in a NATO strap with a titanium case. So, this is titanium. It's 41 millimeters, so it's a perfect size for many wrists. It has a big dial, very small bezel. Uh, area so you have a big show of the time very nice and particularly well done i think hands so i'm going to show you if and when i open the crown obviously this is a screw down crown so it's a 200 meter re water resistant and it doesn't have a hacking movement as you can see this is the miyota 9215 that it's inside and it doesn't have the hacking function. So for passionate on movements, then 8215 Miyota might be a, a little bit of a letdown. Maybe Timex could have put up a little bit something better in the movement here because it's a special edition, limited edition. I will have paid more for the watches. We will go into the price later, uh, but it's a reliable movement. That's okay. I would just have expected something better and best. So when you, you see this type of moment has this type of weird thing. So first of all, obviously you all know that you shouldn't be putting your time anti-clockwise. So usually when you are going to put and set the time of your watch, you need to go clockwise because that's the way the movement is made to move. Going anti-clockwise is a little bit unnatural. And in this movement in particularly, Timex, there is maybe something going on inside. I don't have any other Timex with Miyotas of the same type to see if it does exactly the same thing. It doesn't ruin your watch, but as you can see, it stops the second hand and it prevents it from keeping moving. So I wouldn't recommend doing this with this watch. Um, obviously, you have the date function here that goes in the clockwise direction. Then what else we have? So I'm going to put back the crown. Just wanted to get the hands out of the space. So first of all, you have the hour and the minutes hands that are very nicely done. I think the kind of rectangular shape that they have done for both hands, it's actually very, very interesting. And the second hand has both of them. They have a loom, obviously, not the second hand, but the minute and the hour hand. And then you have the central part color black. So it gives kind of a floating effect to the watch, which I think is really nice. In terms of logo, we have the Timex on top and the James brand um, on the bottom part with the copyright there. Uh, and I think it's it has been kept simple and really nice. So it doesn't bother you at all in the dial. We have markers at the hour uh, points that, as you can see, it's different from a normal, let's say, military inspired watch. They are apply markers. I think they look really nice. And you have the the part that is polished around, uh, around the loom because they're actually full of C3 loom. 
so it's a green paste and and it works pretty well i have tested already in in the in the outside so i think they have done a really nice work the case as you can see is sandblasted finish so it's very very nice i think they have done a, a very nice job here around the crown if you can see the the lugs the crown protectors that are around it they have a free step turning around uh, dimension so and i really like it it looks really nice in this inspire military watch and i think they have tried actually to get something of the james brand logo in the in the small crown lugs um and i think that's the reason why they have done this kind of detail i really like it furthermore i really like the logo of the james brown with this green lime green on it uh, i think it's spot on and it gives the watch uh, a new perspective and a new look compared to other military watches so the strap is a nato strap here you have also the james brown logo not the timex one um in the back there's nothing uh so it's a nylon nato strap and it's very well done titanium also used on the on the things in the lug um so the fabrication is very good i'm going to show you behind what it's here so this is a limited edition uh, watch and they have done 500 of them and if we go back to the case office obviously you have an open case back like timex does a lot uh to showcase a movement that i really don't love <laughs> but anyway they do it you have all these very nice inscriptions also the back case i think it's very well done and also you have the number here limited edition and you have the number out of 500 and obviously you have the james logo in the back crystal that it's there together with the timex one that you will find the oscillator i i think the um, the rotor sorry I think the, the job they have done to the back, even if you're not going to see it with the native strap, it's very well done. Uh, and I really have to say that overall, this is a very nice limited edition. I I don't have many Timex watches and particularly I don't get them because first of all, of the automatic movement that they wear. Second of all, I find them too commercial for my taste. And third of all, um, I don't really like the quartz movement that they use, they are very noisy. Uh, here, at least the Miyota is not as noisy as some other that I have seen, but the design and the limitness, limitness of this watch really uh, inspired me to say, why not try it? And I was one of the lucky ones because it went on the website and it lasted, it lasted like a couple of hours before all 500 were sold out. So now you cannot buy it anymore. The price point, I was talking about the price point, it's around five, 300 euros. So it's like $350. Uh, that's a very affordable price point for a military watch and for a limited edition watch. If you go to the Timex website, probably the watch that it's in their highest regard is the Giorgio Galli edition. But it's like 100 euros more than this watch. And it's not limited. It's part of their collection. Um, so compared to that, I really prefer this type of watches rather than the one that um, that they are selling with the Giorgio Galli uh, design. Yes, it's a different design. It's something different from other watches. So probably you have it there if you want it. But i really think it's a better value for money having this type of watches made in titanium made with a military tool expression that i would really definitely like to wear so guys what do you think about this i'm going to show you a wrist shot so that you see how it looks on the wrist i think it looks very very good um just let me take my wrist lacra here in bronze and we can strap on so about the brand while well, I'm putting this watch on. Um, so Timex, obviously, we know very well. The James brand, it's a brand dedicated on fabricating knives, especially knives, but tools that you can use to explore and that 
They also have the characteristic of being foldable watches, so you can actually fit in a pocket. So it's an adventure brand, if we want to put it in another perspective. And, and I think they have done a very nice work with them on, on, on redoing this design. So I have not, you see, so I have not a small wrist. My wrist is an 18 centimeters around, around 18, 18, yes, right now it's around 18 centimeters. Uh, so it's not small, uh, up to the point that, that, as you can see, the NATO strap is not that long as usually you get with NATO straps. So it's kind of short. And as you can see, I cannot turn it around here. It's very, um, the fit is almost perfect. So uh, right now I have not put it, I usually wear it on this one. So there's still a little bit of space and I can actually turn it around. But it's very small, the space that I have. So just uh, a point to to show about the, the type of strap. So as you can see, it works very well. It fits with its 41 millimeters case very nicely on, at least on my wrist. Um, so it's something that I think can be of interest for many of you. What do you think about this watch? Just drop me a message, send me a comment, and I hope you like this review of this nice limited edition watch. Until next time. Bye bye.